The len function in Python is really useful because what it can do, it can tell us the length of a string and it can be used to tell us the number of elements in a list. So we're going to look at how it's used in both those ways. So let's have a look at a string first. So we're going to going to do um, greeting equals uh, hello. Now, if you count up all the characters there, including the space, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11. so we have 11 characters there. So if we were to do now print len uh, greeting, it will tell us that there's length of that string is 11, which is great, which is what it does. So that's one way of doing it. And the other way we can use len as I said, is we can use it to determine the length of a list. So let's now apply len to a list. We're going to create a list just of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 numbers there. And if we print now len a, len, by the way, just is short for length. And we run that. And you can see that that's 10 elements. So there we have it, len being applied to a string and also to a list. There is a function that exists that allows us to convert strings into a list. So that is each character in the string will become an own element in the list. And that function is just simply called list. And I'm going to put in our string, so it's going to be hello and I'm going to output it as a list we'll just call this list L just just keep it simple and then we'll do print L what will happen when we run this is that each character will become its own element in that list you can see there each of those letters are now its own element